Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to take a look at setting up the Raspberry Pi as a headless device. If you followed my videos for setting up WinLink on the Pi, then by the end of this video you'll be able to control the Pi and retrieve your email from your mobile phone or tablet. You could also use this method for controlling other digital modes in ham radio. So let's dive right into it. We're going to be setting up the Raspberry Pi as a wireless access point today. To do this, we will use the following command to install Rasp AP. I'll leave this command down in the description so you can copy and paste. Once you see this on the screen, you will want to enter yes for all of the questions that it asks. While you're waiting on this software to install, it'd be a great time to click the thumbs up or maybe the subscribe button down below. Answering yes to this final question will reboot the Pi. At this point in the process, you can use any wireless mobile device or tablet to connect to the Pi. I'll be using the computer to connect to the new wireless access point for this video. So open up your wireless uh, access points on your computer and you're looking for this one right here, the RASP uh, web GUI. So we'll go ahead and click on it. It's going to ask us for the password. Now the password here is change me with a capital C and a capital M. Occasionally it will tell you that uh, you got an invalid password. I'm not sure why that's happening, but it is the correct password. So we'll try it again. and it shows the check mark beside it, so it shows that it is connected. So let's move over to a web browser. We need to make a few changes in here, so we want to navigate to 10.3.141.1. All right, if it asks you for the username and password, the username is going to be admin and the password is going to be secret. Since I had logged into this previously, uh, it did not ask me for that information. So the first thing we need to do is head over to where it says configure the hotspot. We need to change the SSID. You can change this to whatever you would like for it to be. So in our case, we'll just call it test box. And we'll click on the save settings. And then under security, you can set your security to whatever you'd like. Here's the password uh, that we needed to enter to connect to this uh, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to leave it for the time being, but you can change this from WPA to WPA2 and obviously change the password for logging on to the wireless. And then you would hit save settings as well. Now those settings will not take effect until you reboot the device. The next thing we need to do is come over to configure authorization. Right here, you'll need to give it the old password, which is secret. And then you could type in your new password two different times here and hit the save settings as well. Those are the basic changes you would need to make in order to secure your new access point. Then we could come over to the system tab and go ahead and click the reboot again. After the Pi has booted back up, you'll need to reconnect to the SSID that you chose. In this case, I use TestBox and I'm already connected to it. Now we can connect up to our Pat WinLink. We'll use the same web address we did a few minutes ago, 10.3.141.1, and we'll give it colon 8080. This will bring you into your PAT mailbox. 
At this point, you can go ahead and make a connection. So we'll connect up to one of the mesh post office boxes this morning. And there you go, the connection is complete. And that's running completely wireless over the new access point that we've set up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we got a few more ideas coming up. They should release every Friday or Saturday uh, if we can stay on schedule. All right, guys, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We'll see you guys on the next video.